teacher Kathy here. Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through the steps that I go through to putting one of my lessons that I use in my online classes into my TPT store. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Feel free to pause and stop it as much as you need to, but I'm going to walk you through all of those steps. I have a lesson made, and I'm going to put it into my TPT store and make it presentable. Okay, so these are the steps that I go through to do that. Hopefully this is helpful for you. But before I get into that, don't forget to click on that subscribe and the like and the bell. So that way it helps my channel move up. I get more subscribers, more likes, and the bell so you get notified when I have new videos come out. It really does help my channel and helps me be able to know how to make more content to help you out in your journey in online teaching and TPT store. Okay? All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn on my screen share. I know this is a big wide span of my two, mon uh, two screens of my big monitor, so feel free to zoom in and out as you need to to be able to see what I'm doing, okay? Hopefully you can see my mouse. Okay, here we go. So this is a vocabulary lesson that I have created for my, one of my classes. I actually just created it for a Flux class today and did all the games and stuff, and I want to turn it into something to put into my TPT store. So, you know, I mean, why not? You've already created the lesson. You might as well put it up in your TPT store. So I just got to alter a few things before I put it up in there, okay? So first, I want to get rid of the word worldly wise because although I can use that in my online teaching, I don't think I can sell it in my TPT store. I do take some of the information from the worldly wise books, but I don't copy and paste them. I kind of add in omit things as needed to make it my own. I create my own. I just use that as a resource. So the first thing is, this is kind of something kind of cool, how you can create a background that people can't edit. Like if you look at this, I can't edit this right now in this mode, but I can edit this. And that's how you can create stuff like that. I learned by watching other videos on to make it so students can only click and edit certain things. You can also do the thing, same thing for your TPT store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to slide and we're going to go down to edit theme and it's going to pop up this black box okay this is how you're going to edit your theme and make those things not editable that people can't edit and things that they can so i'm just going to get rid of this and i'm going to do voyage okay vocabulary voyage the last one i loaded was green I'm not sure, as you can see on the other screen that I have sent there, I'm not sure if I want to do the same. I mean, I probably should for consistency. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we need to change the background. So I'm going to go to background and I'm going to go to choose image. Now this is already an image I know I have downloaded on my computer that I can pull up, okay? So I'm going to go into out school and I believe it's in this folder here in my reading folder and there's the green books one. So I'm going to open that up and it's going to insert that as an image and boom, it's there. But see, it didn't do it on all the slides. So I want to do it on this one also, so that way it'll make it so it's the background on all of the slides. And that background is not editable. So because we're doing it in the master part of the template, okay? All right, so that should have added it to all of them, but it didn't. So we're gonna go ahead and add the add to all the slides. Okay, so I've added it to all of them, but one, I'm going to show you one last time for this last one. Click on the slide you want, click on background, choose image, go find the image that you want to add. It's going to add it for you. Done. Okay, so now all of these are done. And the main one I wanted to change anyway was this one, so I've done that. So I'm going to click on this little X up here, and I'm back to my slides. So now I can't edit this but I can edit this box, okay? So now the lesson's there. Oh, I just changed my master. <laughs> Oops, that's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this now that I've changed that already, but I'm gonna make a copy to make it into my TPT, okay? Because I don't wanna edit the one that I wanna do in class. And then I'm gonna get rid of the one that I use in class and just work with this TPT one. I'm going to change the name to TPT, so that way I know this is my TPT master, okay? I've got the lesson in here. All the lesson words are there. 
So now what I need to do is you can see on this other slide, I've got some um, intro slides that I want to copy and paste over to this to add. So I'm going to come over here to this one. I'm going to hold shift and select these first three. I'm going to control C and I'm going to come over here and click on this one, control V, and it's going to paste them. Okay. So now I have my intro slides that I use for my TPT. All right. So now I'm going to go down here, make sure all of this looks good. It looks good. Looks good. Looks good. It all looks good. Okay. So we're all good. It's all good. So now I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to download. And I'm going to go to PDF. And I'm going to download this into a PDF so that way I can upload it into my TPT store. For tonight, I'm not going to do a go to Google Slides because that takes a little more work. So for just this, this slideshow, what we're doing for this one is we are just going to do the, um, we're just going to do the one for um, the PDF. And I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it now that I don't need both of those. Okay. So now I'm going to go get my PDF. So let's see here. I've got to get that box up. And I've got to get that box up. So here's the PDF that I downloaded. I want to go to the file. I'm in the folder that I want, Out School Worldly Wise Book 6, 14. So I'm going to put that TPT one in there. Boom. Okay, excellent. Okay, we want to make sure that this is also saved in the correct spot. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. So now that I've got the, the PDF, what I need to do is I need to get my cover and my preview ready. So I forgot to open up these tabs. So we're going to go get my Canva. Get logged in here. Okay. Except we're going to go to my projects and we're going to there's my preview that I did on the last one so I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to make a copy of this because I don't want to do this I don't want to alter the other one so I want to make a copy Oh, oops. I, maybe I don't want to make a copy, but I forgot to make copies of these. I got to get screenshots of these. So I got to go back to the lesson and I got to go to, we want to get a screenshot of each of these. So I'm going to do, let's see, let's look at the preview. I've got the, I've got the title screen there and I've got one of the words and then one of the activities. So I'm going to go back here and we're going to make this a little bit bigger. That way you can see it. And I want to make this a little bigger. So I'm going to go into the slide and edit theme. Should have done that before. I'm going to make this a little bigger as well. It's not big enough for me. We can slide this down. Right, this is all over the place, but this is my process. This is how I do it. So hopefully you're able to take notes and follow along. Okay, close that. There we go. So it edited, updated. So I want to take a picture of this, a PNG. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Download. And I'm going to go to PNG. Okay? That's going to download a PNG of that one. I want to do that for one of my vocabulary word slides. So File, Download, PNG. This only does the slide that you were highlighted on. That's the only thing about the PNGs. It doesn't do the whole thing. So then I'm going to go down to one of the activity pages and get that also. So file, download, PNG. Okay. So now these should be in my download folder. Okay. So let's go and look. Yep, there they are. I want to drag them into this same folder because I'm going to use them in my Canva presentation. So there we go. Okay. All right. Let's get rid of that download and let's go back to our Canva presentation. So now I need to get those images in here so I can use this as my um, preview, okay, in TPT. This is how I create my preview. This is a mock-up that um, is a template that I got from uh, Rebranded Teacher Academy. I paid for a membership. 
And so I have access to those templates, and this is one of those templates that I paid for that I'm using in this. So if you want to get those templates, go check it out, Rebranded Teacher Academy. Um, Laura Fulton, I think is her name. She's also on YouTube. I've watched a ton of her YouTube. She's got a ton of things that, um, uh, uh, tons of insight. I've learned a lot from her. So in Canva, I do pray for the pro. So some of the features, if you don't see it, you have the free. That's because I do have the pro. So we're going to go to upload. And I'm going to go upload those three images that I just did. So then I'm going to go to the right folder. I could just go to downloads because they're in there too. Boom. There's the three I want. They're going to upload into Canva. And then I'm going to replace them with the new one. So I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this one here. Okay. All right. Boom. So that one is done. So now, because all I had to do is replace those images, and I created this before by using her template and getting it set up the way I wanted, I just need to go to share and go to download. And I'm going to download this PNG. So there is my preview for my TPT store. Okay. All right. Now we need to go back to our main Canva page, go to back to projects, and we need to do our cover. Okay. So I used, again, another template from Lauren's library from RBT, from Rebranded Teacher Academy, RTB, Rebranded, RBT, RTA, RTA, Rebranded Teacher Academy, RTA, that's what it's called. Okay, and so I'm going to use that image that I just uploaded with a sample from this lesson, and I'm going to drag it into here and replace it. Okay, all right, so there you go. So now all I have to do is do share, download, and then download the PNG, and now I have my cover image, okay? Maybe you might want to know how to create something like this if you don't have a template. I can show you how to do that. I can create another video for that of how to create templates for previews and cover slides. I do that for some of my reading classes. My, my covers for those, those are a little bit different. I can totally show you how to do that. It's not hard in Canva. If you want to see a video like that, leave a comment below. That'll be some more videos that I could do and upload. Okay, so now we've got our cover image. We've got our preview. Now we're ready. We've got our PDF. Now we're ready to go into the TPT store. So here's my, my product listings. This isn't my storefront. You want to see my storefront in the video? Let's go to that first. I'll open it in a new tab, okay? So here's my storefront. <clears throat> Most of what I have in here are my reading lessons, but I'm starting to upload slowly but surely some of my vocabulary lessons, which I think is a good thing because I've been doing them and it's slowly increasing my store. So one thing that I'm going to start with is I have a template typed up in text that I use to put in the description. And then I go in and I edit it according to what I need to use. So I recommend using like a Google Doc, type up what you want in the description, and then it can be your template that you can just copy and paste, which is what you're going to see me do to put it into my TPT store. Okay? So here's my TPT store. We're going to go add new product. We're going to go to digital download because we're just going to do the PDF today. Okay? And then I'm going to name my product. So I'm going to go comprehensive vocabulary voyage lesson 14 grade 6 okay i'm going to go to select file and there's the file that i want okay i'm going to download it there it goes and this is where that preview is going to go that i just downloaded so go here and there's my preview. Click open. Okay. It wants to auto generate my thumbnails, but I don't want it to because I want to put a cover image here that I created. So for the main cover image, it's going to be this one here that I created. Open. And then for the thumbnails, guess what? I'm going to use those images again that we put into the preview as my thumbnails. Why not? Right? I mean, they give enough information. And it'll give people a chance to see it up close. I'm not going to do a video because that takes a little bit more time. That's also another video that I could create. I do know how to do it. So you can 
comment below if you want me to show you how to create those videos to put in there. Okay, so now we're at my description. So I'm going to go to my Word doc and I'm going to copy all of the text. <clears throat> I've got everything in here. Okay, control C. I'm going to go back to here. Control V and I'm going to go up to the top. So I've got it lined out here where I can just type in the title and the grade right here. So I'm going to go vocabulary voyage lesson 14 grade 6. Okay. Then I'm going to scroll down to this because I'm just starting to put up my TP, my vocabulary products, I'm going to get rid of this right here because I don't have links to these yet. I'll go back and add that later. Okay. But I'm going to leave the rest of this there. Now you can see you can even add in your template all your correct links so that way people know how to get a hold of you, how to get in touch with you. Right. I think I need to update this link right here. I think that's not a good link. So I'm going to update that really quick. Okay. I've now updated the link with the current link. I didn't have it before, but now it's there. So it's the current link. So my description, my description looks good. Something that you can do in these descriptions, if you'd like to kind of break it up, is you can add this horizontal line right here and it kind of helps break it up. Okay, I want to put it right there. Okay, gives a nice divide. And then I'm going to put another divide right there. And then I'm going to put another one right there. Oh, undo. Control Z. Wait, I don't want it there. I want it right here. There we go. That's where I want it. Delete. And then put another one right there. Delete. It helps break it up and helps people's eyes be able to find stuff. And then there's the end of it. Okay, so now the price. So I think I decided with my other vocabulary lesson, let's go see if we can find it to see what I priced it at. I want to try to keep them all the same price because they're all about the same length. So this one I did $4.50, $5. I did a $50 discount. Okay. And how many pages are in this? This one has 69 pages. I know they're long because I have a lot of words in there. So let's see, how long is this one? This one is 75. Okay, so this one's long. I know that seems like a lot, but it's because I got each of the words on individual slides. So that's why it's so long. So we're going to do the same price. I probably should be charging more for these, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to do the tax code for permanent use. This is sixth grade, so we're going to do sixth and fifth, but I always click the homeschool. Okay, so we're going to do vocabulary. We're going to do reading. And then we're going to do writing. Okay, we're going to do activities. We're going to do worksheets. And we're going to do the homeschool. The custom, we're going to do vocabulary. We're going to do English. And we're going to do sixth grade. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put 75 here. Answer key is included, and we're good. Submit. Well, that's taking a little bit to load. I guess TPT is a little bit slow today. So it is loading. There it goes. Ta-da, it's loaded. So there we go. Before, my preview didn't pop up right away. There it is. Okay. So see, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. There's the preview. Okay. And then there's my cover. Boom. Okay. All good. All done. So there we go. That's how you do it. That's how you load it in there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. Leave me any questions you have below. And if you have any other questions or any other videos like how to create the cover images or how to create the previews. If you wanted to create your own and you don't have a template to use from someplace like RTA, let me know. I'm happy to make videos to show you how to do that. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.